Why, hello, and thank you for looking at this listing. This listing is for one, as you see it right here, vintage Uncle Moses Bank and Doorstop. Now, we've done quite a bit of research on this, and I'm going to go over why a lot of these features lend itself to be an older version and not a reproduction. There's a lot of reproductions out there, and I'm going to go over why we believe this is an older version of the Uncle Moses bank slash doorstop. Now you see this paired with an Aunt Jemima is what they call it a lot. This one comes single. It is 11 inches tall. And we're going to go over some of the features right now that make it stand out as far as being authentic and old. And we will start right here on the face. Now as you look at the face, we notice some fine detail. The eyes are very detailed, and even as we'll bend it forward, the forehead has wrinkles on it. So, always a finely detailed face. You can see right here, really nice nose, eyelids, eyeballs, cheekbones, well pronounced, lend itself to being old. So there's one. Two, we will turn it sideways as we look at the seams where the two pieces of iron, cast iron, are put together. Now notice starting at the bottom all the way up, it is a very tight fit. Take the time to look at some on eBay, and especially the Aunt Jemima ones and different ones. You'll notice they don't fit well, the seams don't. And that is a clear, quick sign to mass production. Now we do have a little at the top, as, I, as I'll tilt it, you see it separated a little at the top. But that's to be expected over time since iron, metals, right? They do breathe, inhale, and exhale. But overall, great, great fit on both sides. Really, really good fit. Again, only a little loose at the top. And why we have it here, it appears to be hand-painted. Now, is this a second painting of distinct possibility? Yes. But I cannot answer that for sure. But it does stand out from all the rest. If you look at the color pattern from the red to the yellow. And how you can tell by the, the lines that it is hand painted and not done in mass production. So that's another sign. Always a good sign is that we have the slotted screw and not a Phillips head right there. A very good sign of being older. And why we have it right here. Let me get it right so you can see it. And we'll bring the camera over. You can see it reads uncle right there at the bottom of the coattail. And let me po point it out to you. Uncle right there. And then on the other side, I believe it to read Moses over here. So we have yet to find one that has a signature on that as well. So another item, and you can't feel this, but when you look at other ones that appear to be bumpy on the service surface, when you touch them, they're rough. This one is smooth, right? When you have a smooth one, it again lends itself to be old. So I do believe this to be an older Uncle Remus collectible, definitely vintage bank and doorstop standing 11 inches. Um, trust and believe the winner of this auction, it will be packed well. This is a very unique piece of black of Americana. I do believe it to be have been painted again. But the good thing is, is that it is a nice paint job, and it's been a while. So take the time to look at other ones, and I challenge you to find one that has everything that I pointed out to lend itself to be a vintage collectible.